Good Sunday morning, it's NTV Chief Meteorologist Eddie Shear, 7.36 a.m. This is your weather update for Sunday. So far, going back to Friday, St. John's International Airport picked up nearly 70 millimeters of rain. We're still seeing more, we're gonna add to that today and we're gonna add to that likely over the next couple of days. Visibility at the airport on the plus side up to about 1.6 kilometers. Many areas of Newfoundland now seeing rain from the freezing rain and the snow we had yesterday, but it does look pretty nasty still out on the Port of Port Peninsula and around the Cornerbrook area. And the NL511 app slash map is reporting some snow covered roadways across interior and western areas of Newfoundland this morning. So drivers certainly keep that in mind. Cornerbrook up to one degree, Deer Lake it's three, Winterland it's one. Most areas are now above freezing, so the only thing we're seeing likely is rain or very wet snow. The exception St. Lawrence, where temperatures are currently right on the freezing mark, but winds are still out of the east and the northeast. Although for some areas, they will become a little bit more southerly as we go throughout the day. Rainfall warning up for the northern peninsula east through central Newfoundland, the northeast coast to St. John's and vicinity for an additional 25 to 50 millimeters of rain as we go through Tuesday. So we have a couple of more days of rain to go before we're all said and done. And speaking of the rain, you know, a lot of folks want to know essentially how much rain has fallen. And what we're looking at here is a map of the rainfall over the last 24 hours ending early this morning. And you can see that areas of the Avalon Peninsula, specifically around St. John's, were somewhere in here between 64 and 100 millimeters of rain going back to late Friday night through late last night. So lots of rain for some areas, even back to Clarenville, the, the estimate here is somewhere around 50 millimeters of rain. So a lot of us seeing heavy rain, undoubtedly, a lot of us are dealing with probably water issues in your basement with some pumps more than likely working overtime. Hopefully they're working. Radar imagery now showing that we do have some very heavy rain across parts of the Avalon Peninsula and Northeastern Newfoundland. And we're also likely seeing some rain through central and the Northeast but it's kind of in a radar hole, so you're not really seeing a whole lot showing up in that area. Now, as we do take a look at the rainfall showing up here on the Avalon, there is an area of very heavy rain just between Bay Bulls and Cape Royal, and this is moving from the east to the west, which is primarily what it's been doing for the last several days, which is why some areas have seen such prolific rainfall amounts. But as I back the view out a bit, you can see the general movement of this is from the east to the west, but also a little bit now more to the south, which I suppose is good news for St. John's and areas of the northern Avalon where we have seen the rain. So it looks like we're not going to get into that real heavy rainfall this morning. That being said, we're not done with the rain by any stretch of the imagination. And backing the view out, what we can see here is this weather pattern that's just driving the moisture into eastern areas of Newfoundland and across Newfoundland in general. And as we bring in the water vapor imagery here, what you can see essentially happening is what we're looking at is this weather pattern where we have this area of high pressure to the north over Greenland, which is essentially a blocking high. The flow around it is like that. And that's causing all these lows across the central Atlantic to really not be able to move anywhere. And we have one sitting down in here and its moisture is being funneled this way all the way out from the middle part of the Atlantic. So between the two, we're getting this huge fetch of moisture, which is essentially going to be something that is sticking around for the next couple of days. We can look at this product here called the Integrated Vapor Transport. And when you see these bright colors, that's indicating a lot of moisture, the potential for very heavy rainfall. And notice how that moisture content sticks around Newfoundland through at least Tuesday. We get, looks like we might get a break late Tuesday, but there's an area of low pressure offshore Tuesday, which may bring some snow to some areas during the mid part of the week specifically on the Avalon, but we'll touch more on that if it looks more likely as we go into tomorrow. No sense in really getting into that today when we're trying to focus on the rainfall. So here's Futurecast. will take us through the day. There's the rain across the northern peninsula, central, southern, eastern Newfoundland by midday. You can see it there in green. As we go throughout Sunday or this evening, we may see some wet snow on the Buren Peninsula. We'll keep an eye on that. And winds will turn southerly on the Avalon this afternoon, this evening. Maybe enough that we get a break in the cloud. Now, Friday, it looked like this was gonna be a bit more pronounced and we should have seen some sunny breaks if Friday's forecast held, but it looks like 
if we are going to see some clearing breaks, it may be late this evening or in the overnight. So the sunshine on the Avalon today, a little bit of a question mark, but I do think there will be some clearing skies at least during the overnight period. But as we go into Monday, we're going to be seeing more rain developing across parts of central and eastern Newfoundland. So something to keep in mind, rainfall amounts by tomorrow morning, in addition to it's already fallen. Luckily, we're only looking at another five or 10 mils on the Avalon, but the computer here is generating a good bit for the Bonavista Bay area. Terra Nova, you could be in for uh, 50 to 60 millimeters of rain. Gander, 20 to 30. Lumsden, 30 to 40. Uh, Bonavista, I think that's a little wrong for you. Probably 20 to 30 or 40 there. And uh, same thing for Millertown, Grand Falls, Windsor, Twilling Gate. So a lot of the areas are going to be picking up a good bit of rain as we go from today into tomorrow morning. Temperature wise, not really moving a whole lot through the day. And tomorrow we may see some warmer temperatures to the south in the offshore flow, but we'll kind of keep an eye on that. Anyway, that was your, I guess, weather update this morning. Um, again, uh, lots, lots to talk about, and uh, I'll try and do another update for you this evening if it's needed, but essentially more rain is on the way, and uh, that's the long and short of it. Stay safe, take care, and we'll talk soon.